your boss is keep on adding tasks to you or projects to you your work life balance is totally lost you are unable to say no your colleague is asking your support in their work you are unable to say no usually other department should come to you to get any work done through your manager and sometimes they skip that step and come to you directly and it becomes a habit if you support once you are unable to say no assertiveness companies are nowadays conducting trainings and workshop about being assertive what is assertiveness assertiveness is your ability to communicate your thoughts authentically and respectfully without annoying or affecting others suppose an interview question comes how often do you say no given in instance your response to this question will give them a good insight of your personality your credibility impact of not being able to say no it affects your self worth you will be a place where every garbage goes in boss might not know the practicality of the workload if you accept everything that comes one day it will collapse and make you a low performer at that time they come back and ask you you could have told before it has a risk a colleague of you who is treating you as a very good friend will come and ask you to do something which looks very simple you can easily do it but it's against the policies of the organization you may even lose your job some colleagues might take advantage and outsource their work to you or to cut down the risk they ask your support my id is not working can you please take it up and work for me do not accept until you align with your manager how can i look at the rise and say no i have to face them every day okay before saying yes or no please understand this it's okay if someone wants something from you it's normal and you ask their support and they ask your support because everything is a team work and you cannot do it everything alone but it doesn't mean that your answer should be always yes no is also a response and giving a response is better than having no response you are saying no where it has to be said no not everywhere feeling what others might think doesn't have any relevance in the corporate world everybody are running their own race to meet their own kpis though it's regarded as a team work saying no doesn't mean that you don't like them or you don't value them every company is looking for an assertive middle person how to be assertive middle let's see let's understand what is assertive middle person there are two extreme ends for assertive one is assertive passive person an assertive aggressive person let's understand the assertive passive person passive person is someone who believes my needs are not important i am reluctant to share my thoughts i don't take risk i allow others to bully me i let others to decide for me an assertive aggressive person believes my needs are alone matter i express aggressively i take extreme risk i tend to bully others i decide for others so what is expected to be an assertive middle person so let's see what an assertive middle person is who believes my needs are as important as everybody else's i find it easy to express my true thoughts i stand up for myself i decide for myself and i let others to decide for themselves i take calculated risk we both have rights that needs to be respected how to say no or how to prepare before saying no be clear in your ideas and be honest take a firm decision to say no respect others and respond in a positive way how to positively say no let's come to it if you have problem to instantly say no take some time ask them that you'll think and come back in two days and ensure that before the date you go back to them when manager keep on adding new task to you do not instantly respond instead call for a meeting and do not simply say no i am loaded but come up with a list of activities that you do the relevances and priorities of each task approximate time needed to complete and explain in a measurable way have a good understanding on your capacity out of 100% time allocated to yourself keep spare time for competency development if your workload metric says your capacity is 85% or 85% loaded explain that remaining 15% is for your competency time for competency development is needed to make your work better 
for the betterment of the activities you are doing, for the betterment of the organization and that has to be within the working time. Suppose a new task comes and you are completely loaded and you are preparing yourself to say no. But before rejecting it, do some sort of assessment or evaluation for the task. Is it something that only you can do in the team? Is it something which will help you to achieve your goals along with the company's goals? Is there a good amount of learning in that new task? Is it something which will improve your visibility in the organization or your visibility in front of the management? If the new task comes to these categories, analyze and give proposal to your boss. Say, I can take it up. I can be a single point of contact and take the complete responsibility and ownership of this task or project. But I want support from other colleagues to share the task. Or I can take up this task. But looking at my current workload and also the importance of the new task, we cannot compromise on the effectiveness and speed in the new task. For which I need to offload certain other work to other colleagues. I made a list of tasks which can even done by lower competency colleague, which I can train them well. When a colleague comes to you and asks for support, instead of simply saying no, say that I am glad to support you. But I don't want to give false promises and keep you waiting because other, I have other priorities running at the moment. Say that I want to support you, but I am not sure to what extent I can offer you the timeline that you are looking for. And that should not affect your deadline. In the interview question, what you need to convey is, before saying no, I try to find all the possible ways to make it happen. I ask for support wherever required. I come up with the challenges which I am going through and explain my concerns. At the end of the day, I commit only what I can do. But once I commit, I ensure it's done on time. Also, justifying your no is never an obligation. But your maturity and your ability to bring in an assertive middle environment, which is required for every organization today. Remember one thing, this quote. Most of you are watching without subscribing. Please do subscribe to my channel and share with your friends and colleagues. Thank you.